No Parking Fire Hydrant, a short film written by Russell Simpson. Exterior, street, day. The parking enforcement Prius pulls up behind a parked car. It's right by a fire hydrant. An office, 40s, steps out, readying her ticketing device. She checks the license plate and starts typing. Excuse me. The officer turns. A woman, 20s, walks towards her, unhappy. She wears a beanie. What do you think you're doing? Your car is parked across the fire hydrant. So what? California Vehicle Code 22514. No parking within 15 feet of a fire hydrant. The curb is clearly marked red, ma'am. Continues typing. She gets this shit all the time. Please don't. It's done. It's too much money. The officer shakes her head, unmoving. The woman points at the car. It's pretty old. Look at the state of it. Please, show some mercy. It's unfortunate. Do you people have no soul? You people? Please, there must be something I can do. I beg you. Don't. Might you accept a lower cash offer? As she pulls out her wallet. I'm not going to pay that ticket. The city will spend more in court fees and postage than the ticket itself. You could cash in now, cut your losses. She pulls out the only note, 20 bucks, and proffers it. Are you out of your mind? I am a public officer. <laughs> Come on, you're not really. You're not a civilian, but you're not the police. You're in between. You're in the perfect gray area sweet spot to remedy this with 20 bucks in the hand. No problem, job done. The woman spots a cross in the officer's necklace. Please, for the love of Jesus, be a good Christian. Show some forgiveness. Justice is the Lord's work. Oh, I see. Now you're a public servant and the hand of God. You must feel the burden. You have a family? You're going to threaten my family now? Not at all, but please. I have a family too, and I'm all alone. I have mouths to feed, young mouths. Look, I hear you, but this is a serious infraction. I'm sorry, I promise, I'm so sorry this happened. And I appreciate your apology, but the offense stands and where safety is concerned, the rules are not as malleable as you have so far assumed them to be. What can I say? The officer shrugs, the ticket prints out of her machine. There must be something I can say. Let me ask, in the history of humankind, surely someone has talked themselves out of a parking ticket. Am I right? The officer rips the ticket out of the machine. <laughs> there must have been an instance. I'm sure it's happened. Exactly. So, there must be something I can say. There must be one specific combination of words that I can put together that will persuade you to cancel that ticket. I assure you there is not. There is. I think you have a key. I have cancer. Oh, come on. I do have cancer. You are clutching for straws right at the bottom of the barrel. Mixed metaphors aside, I am appalled at your implication that I do not have cancer. You issue the ticket, I'm filing a complaint. The reality still stands. Cancer or no, no cancer. The fire service requires uninhibited access to citywide hydrants. Parking here costs lives. People die when the fire service cannot access the water sources. I'm dying. So we're, so, so we're even, the city and me. But you're alive. But I'm gonna be dead from the cancer. Okay, but multiple people die in fires. So your death, somewhere down the line, would only cancel out one of those fatalities. True. Good. The officer folds the ticket and begins to slide it into its envelope. But did anybody die? I beg your pardon? Did anybody die just now? Not to my knowledge. So you're writing a ticket for multiple hypothetical deaths? No, 
I'm writing a ticket because it's a thoughtless risk the city deems unacceptable for you to take. As she seals the envelope, the woman removes her beanie. She's bald beneath. It's everywhere. I'll be gone in two months at best. Honestly, I don't even be on this planet when this ticket goes to appeal. I see good in you. I, I look in your eyes and I see strength and goodness and wisdom. I really do. Ma'am. <laughs> no, I do. And if I could wish one thing, just one thing, it would be to take my bow with faith. Faith in people, faith that in the face of systems and robots and machines, people will still hear their hearts and move with humanity and compassion. If I die with that kind of faith, I die with a smile. It's my wish. Honestly, how many times in your life will you ever get the opportunity to grant a dying wish? God damn it. The officer rips the ticket into quarters and tosses it on the street. She shakes her head, annoyed that she's given in. I think technically that's a littering offense, no? Get out of here. The woman slips her beanie back on, watching as the officer hops back in her Prius and pulls away. The woman turns as a man and his kid rush in a panic towards the car parked across the hydrant. They glance at the woman, but don't know her. The man sees the enforcement car driving away and checks his windshield for a ticket. Nothing. He unlocks the car, bundles his kid in and jumps in himself. And away he drives. The woman smirks and strolls off slowly in the opposite direction. It wasn't her car. Fade to black. <laughs>